Creating the print composition in a project is one of the most important steps when working in design projects. It is how you communicate the details of the project to others on the team and with clients. In this lesson we will be going through the process of composing a sheet consisting of a 3D building design using models from that project as well as including a raster image to round out the completed lesson. In this lesson you will learn attaching references to the print sheet model, setting up scales for different attachments, composing the sheet model, and attaching a raster file to the sheet file. Continue in microstationbasics.dgn in the newly created print sheet model. We'll start by attaching the front view of a 3D building model. In the References dialog, click Attach Reference and select BSI 300 AE9 dash atrium dot DGN from the backslash MS basics backslash DGN backslash 11 composing designs and drawings folder. In the reference attachment settings dialog set the following model composite orientation standard views front. Detail scale, 1 to 200. Nested attachments, live nesting. Nesting depth, 4. Drawing boundary, none. True scale, enabled. You can set the detail scale to the scale that is correct for displaying and printing the design model. The master to reference scale is then automatically calculated from the detail scale and the sheet's annotation scale. Because in this example the sheet is at full paper size and the sheet's annotation scale is set 1 to 1 full size, the master to reference scale is also set to 1 to 200. As we are not using one of the coincident orientations this time, we can position the reference on the sheet ourselves. Click OK and enter a data point to place the reference at the top of the sheet. If necessary, you can move, scale, or rotate the reference after it has been attached using the tools in the References Dialogs toolbar. When using a reference as a background for your design, those kinds of manipulations usually are not allowed because it would disrupt the alignment of both models. But when attaching the reference to create a print composition, you can place the reference model wherever you prefer with a scale that best suits the purpose. Next, you will attach the floor plan of the building using the same model but with a different orientation and scale. In the References dialog, attach BSI 300 AE9 Atrium.DGN again and with the following attachment settings. Model, Composite. Orientation, Standard Views, Top. Detail Scale, 1 to 100. Nested Attachments, Live Nesting. Nesting Depth, 4. Drawing Boundary, None. True Scale, Enabled. Click OK and enter a data point to place the reference on the sheet below the front view. The floor plan may be a bit too large for this print sheet, so let's change the scale. In the References dialog, select the reference that is attached to the standard top orientation. Click in the second scale field below the References list and change the value to 200 and press the Tab key. The floor plan is scaled down to 1 to 200. If necessary, we'll move the floor plan reference with the Move Reference tool so that it is below the front view of the building. The design of the restrooms unit is in a separate model and we'll attach that with a scale of 1 to 50. In the References dialog, attach BSI 300 AE9 Atrium.DGN once again with the following attachment settings. 
model restrooms. Orientation, standard views, top. Detail scale, 1 to 50. Nested attachments, live nesting. Nesting depth, 4. Drawing boundary, none. True scale, enabled. Click OK and enter a data point to place the reference to the right of the front view. Finally, we'll attach the raster file to show a rendered image of the complete building. Open the Raster Manager dialog and attach Visualization Master.jpg located in the backslash msbasics backslash dgn backslash 11 composing designs and drawings folder using the interactive method. Save and close microstationbasics.dgn. In this lesson you learned attaching references to the print sheet model, setting up scales for different attachments, composing the sheet model, attaching a raster file to the sheet file. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.